HPV and the HPV vaccine. What is it? What does it do? And what you need to know. HPV, not to be confused with HBV, is short for the human papillomavirus and is a sexually transmitted disease that affects nearly 14.1 million new people in the United States each year. According to the CDC survey in 2013, HPV is by far the most common sexually transmitted disease. There are approximately 19 million new sexually transmitted infections each year, which means HPV makes up 74% of them. It's so common and prevalent that nearly all sexually active men and women will get it at some point in their lives. Now, you might be wondering if you should be a little concerned. No need to panic. Most of the time, HPV infections are subclinical. A fancy little word that simply means the virus isn't really doing much in your body. There are no physical symptoms that show up, and you don't even realize you have the virus. Great, right? Not exactly. Unfortunately, people who don't realize they've been infected can still spread the virus to others, where the virus can potentially become a clinical infection, meaning, you guessed it, symptoms. Since we're on the topic of symptoms, let's go ahead and talk about them. What happens to me if I get HPV? Well, it depends. As of this moment, researchers have identified over 170 different strains of HPV. That means that the symptoms of your infection will depend on what strain you end up getting. Generally, we divide the types of the human papillomavirus into two different categories, low risk and high risk. The symptoms of the low risk HPV are generally skin warts, which can appear around your genitals, anus, mouth, or throat. In fact, if you have genital warts, 90% of the time they're caused by HPV types 6 and 11. For high risk HPV, the symptoms are oftentimes different types of cancer. High risk HPV plays a huge role in different types of cancer for both men and women. Just to give you an idea, between 2004 and 2008, there was an average of 11,967 annual cases of cervical cancer. Of those, on average, 11,500 of them were attributed to HPV. Statistically, HPV is the sole reason for women who suffer from cervical cancer. Of those 11,500 cases of cervical cancer caused by HPV, 9,100 of them were attributable to just two strains of HPV, HPV 16 and 18. Now, how exactly is HPV transferred from one person to another? HPV does classify as a sexually transmitted infection, or STI for short, which means high-risk and low-risk HPV can be passed on through unprotected sex. However, low-risk HPV can also be passed on through skin-to-skin -skin contact like handshakes, kisses, or even hugs. HPV can also be passed on from mother to child during pregnancy, labor, or nursing. Okay, okay, so I'm sure you've been waiting to hear about how to prevent HPV. Well, we don't actually have a cure for the virus yet, given just how many strains there are. But we do have some working vaccines for a couple of the high-risk strains. As of December 2014, we currently have a 9-valent vaccine that protects against, you guessed it, 9 different strains of HPV. HPV 31, 33, 45, 52, 58, 6, 11, and most importantly, 16 and 18. Remember HPV 16 and 18? 80% of all cervical cancer cases were caused by HPV 16 and 18, and we have a vaccine for them. Please ask your doctor about HPV vaccines. If for some reason you don't feel like taking the 9-valent vaccine, at least consider the quadrivalent or bivalent vaccines. Right now, the HPV vaccine is a great tool for both men and women to prevent cancer. But nationwide, 4 out of 10 girls and 6 out of 10 boys are currently unvaccinated. Now, the men watching this video might be thinking, he's only been talking about cervical cancer. I don't have a cervix, therefore I have nothing to worry about? Wrong! HPV actually infects men too and is responsible for anal cancer, oral pharyngeal cancer, also known as oral cancer, and even penile cancers. Even though the HPV vaccine was originally marketed for teenage girls as a way to treat cervical cancer, at the current rate by 2020, there will be more HPV-caused cancers among men in the United States than women. The CDC recommends that all men and women take the HPV vaccines, and we would highly recommend it too. We created this video to help inform you guys that there's a vaccine out there that is literally protecting you from cancer. 
and not nearly enough people are taking it. We hope you learned something from this video and thanks for watching.